Hello and welcome to our introduction to our Sky Explorer. With this tutorial you will learn how to work with Sky quick and efficient so you won't need the manual. You will learn how easy it is to put a document into the scanning area, pressing a button, it will be cropped and rotated automatically and you can see the result immediately. With the following tips you will learn how to do it. First of all, let's have a look to the Sky panel at the right hand side. You can see the preview window and there are several options and settings. Here you can change the color mode of the sky, so you can change into color, grayscale, black and white, or you can change the resolution of sky. You can also change some other options like filters, the recommended text filter or smooth filter for pictures. And there's the auto brightness function, which is really recommended by us because the light situation in your room is changing all day long and Sky can take care for it automatically. So if you have the feeling that the brightness of your document is not good, then you should use the contrast slider to change that and a good range for that contrast slider is highlighted here. The auto crop function is already enabled. You can see the four detected corners of the document and you should take care that at least one of the corners is highlighted green. And with a simple keystroke you see how it is captured, rotated and cropped automatically. On top of this you can do also a manual crop. Just draw a selection right into the preview window and with the next scan the selection will be captured. With a simple click, the selection is resetted. So next let's have a look to the extra menu. Here you can switch laser, light, auto crop and the scan sound as well. And you can also perform a white calibration. And it's important to understand that the light color in your room can change over the day. And even if you don't notice it, it is changing. And if you have the feeling that the colors of your document look strange, you can use this option. Then Sky is learning the color situation and finally the documents have a true color again. So that's enough about the Sky panel at the right hand side. So now let's have a look how to scan documents. So let's take away this document and let's close our previous scans. As an example I have a document with two pages and the pages are stapled together. I'm changing to the black and white mode as this is the most used way to scan and I'm scanning the first page by pressing the spacebar. Then I take the document and flip the page and I scan the second page. The left top corner which is buckled by the staple doesn't matter. This will be handled automatically in a correct way. And now we can have a look at the document. This is page one and this is page two. It's that easy. And let's save the document with a simple click. And now let's see how small receipts can be scanned. I'm changing to the color mode and I also want to have it easy. So I enable the automatic mode. Now it's enough to put the receipt under the sky. It will be scanned automatically and of course rotated and cropped. Just replace the document by a new one and the same happens again. There is no need to press a button. And again another receipt of a gas station. And in that way you can easily scan a lot of small receipts which are rotated and cropped automatically. One word about the Sky logo. This object is used to detect when no scan should be done. It is a pause symbol so to say and any object which is different than this Sky logo is activating a new scan. In the next part I want to talk about the viewer. 
which is in the center of the application. You see in the carousel the different pages of the current document. And to see these pages in detail, it's enough to double click the thumbnail and the page is zoomed in to the best size. The same can be done, of course, with the scroll wheel, so you can zoom in and out as well. And I think that's a very nice way to have an overview and to watch the page in detail at the same time. Additionally, you have a magnifier at the mouse. Just click at the place you want to see magnified, and there it is. And with a right click, you will find the context menu. Here you can delete pages, you can move pages, or you can also rotate them. Let's try this to see the result. And of course, you can also print some pages. And also very important, you can cut out a part of the page by pressing here the control key. Now let's have a look at that part where the Sky Explorer got his name, the Explorer part. At the left hand side you see a folder structure and below that you see a file list of the contained files. By default we are working in a TIFF format, so if you press the save button the document will be stored as a TIFF file. There's a normal save dialog where you can write your own file name. And beside this we have an automatic save function where the file name is created by the current date and time. You see these documents are new in the folder and TIFF documents can be reopened with a simple double click. Here our example document or here our previously scanned document with the receipts. On top of this we allow to save documents as a PDF or as a JPEG file. In case of PDF we export the document to this format and the same we do if you choose the email function. That means we create a new email and the document will be attached as a PDF file. Or you can print out your document which turns your sky into a copy machine. Single pages can be cutted, copied and inserted again. And finally the help button. In the Explorer window you have access to the context menu which you know from your Explorer as well. And the same here in the file list. Beside all the functions of the Start tab we have other tab pages as well. Here we have some predefined profiles so if you're not sure about your settings you will find here a set of good predefined settings. Just try it out. And under options, you will find some more possibilities. By example, the software settings, where you can choose the language and some more things. And for our laptop users, very useful, the compact mode. Use that to disappear the ribbon bar. That will give you much more space for the document. Very useful for a small monitor size. We are now coming to the end, so let me give you a last hint. With your first start, an example document will be loaded, so play around with it and try out all the things you have seen here. And I hope this short introduction gave you a good idea about the possibilities of the Sky Explorer and you now know how to get the most out of it even without reading the manual. So, well, I wish you a lot of fun with your new Sky.